Hello friends. Uh, next case is not of basics of probability, but it is of Bayes theorem or Bayes probability law, consisting the calculation of um, conditional probability, joint probability, marginal probability, and posterior or revised or inverse probability. Uh, we are going to use the tabular approach. Let us first read the question. A company has two plants to manufacture scooters. Plant 1 manufactures 80% of the scooters and plant 2 manufactures 20%. These are always, the cause events are always mutually exclusive and exhaustive. There are only two plants, there is no third plant. All the manufacturing is done in two plants and a particular product can either be manufactured at plant 1 or 2. So mutually exclusive and exhaustive cases. At plant 1, 85 out of 100 scooters are rated standard quality or better. Let us use the term standard quality. What is the probability of a scooter being of standard quality if manufactured at plant 1? That is 85 out of 100, that is 0.85 or 85%. So this is conditional probability of a scooter being of standard quality if it is manufactured at plant 1. At plant 2, only 65 per scooters out of 100 are rated standard quality or better. So, the probability of a scooter being of standard quality is dependent on whether it has been manufactured at plant 1 or 2. If it has been manufactured at plant 1, it is 85%. If it has been manufactured at plant 2, it is 65%. So, it is conditional probability. Number 1. What is the probability that scooter selected at random? came from plant 1 if it is known that the scooter is of standard quality. So we need to calculate probab uh, posterior probability of plant 1. Generally prior probability of plant 1 is 80% because 80% of scooters are manufactured at plant 1. But now if we know that the scooter is of standard quality what is the probability that it was made at plant 1? So, it is the case of posterior or revised or inverse probability of plant 1 or plant 2. If we know that the scooter is of standard quality. Similarly, number 2, what is the probability that the scooter comes from plant 2 if it is of standard quality? So, the cause events are two plants. One, let us take it as A1. So, probability of A1 is... 0.8 because 80% of the scooters are manufactured at plant 1. Now conditional probability of a scooter of standard quality if made at plant 1 or 2. If it is made at plant 1, that is B given A1. B stands for scooter being of standard quality. Probability of a scooter of standard quality if manufactured at plant 1. That is given to be 85%, 85 out of 100, 0.85. Now if we multiply these two, we will have the joint probability. P of A1 intersection B. What is the multiplication of these two? It comes to 0.68. Similarly, plant 2, let us tell it A2, P of A2 is 0.2 because there are only two plants 80% scooters are manufactured at plant 1 20% at plant 2 P of B given A2 stands for probability of a scooter of standard quality if manufactured at plant 2 that is given to be 65 out of 100 0.65 multiply these two P of A2 intersection B Plant 2 and scooter of standard quality. This can be interpreted as plant 1 and scooter of standard quality. Yes, 0 0.2 into 0 0.65 comes to 0.13. Summation of these two joint probabilities is marginal probability of B, 0.81. What is marginal probability of B or what is the interpretation of marginal probability of <coughs> It is marginal probability of a scooter of standard quality.
that is P of B. That means randomly selected scooter, a randomly selected scooter, the probability of that scooter being standard quality is in general 0.81 irrespective of the plant which manufactures it. Now we can calculate the revised or posterior or inverse probability. Now we know that a scooter randomly selected at random scooter selected at random is of standard quality. What is the probability it came from plant 1? That is P of A1 given B. That is P of A1 intersection B 0.68 divided by P of B 0.81. Similarly, P of A2 given B also we can calculate that is P of A1 inter A2 intersection B 0.13 divided by 0.18 that is marginal probability P of B. The simplification of these two are 0.8395 and 0.1605. The summation of posterior and prior, rather prior and posterior probabilities must be 1 every time. This is point of say verification. That's it. Thank you very much.